What's going on everybody? Matthew Schnoes, the Gold Crease Guardian. Polar Bears and Outlaws. Let's get right to it. All right, so the Outlaws are back for Sunday, which means we lost a bunch of our guys to the Outlaws. That one kind of stings, but it is what it is. This is now my second game of a back-to-back, -back, having played against Mitten with Lucent in the game before this. You can check that out on the channel. It's up in the corner here where I am hanging out. So give that one a, a view as well. But uh, we're hoping to get into the win column after losing our first game of the year. Outlaws got a win in their first game. And a uh, couple of good saves here right off the hop for me. This first one, hard rebound, which is those Bauer pads. And then the one-timer, just getting over on my feet end up making the save. Outlaws are a team that's got a lot of offense. They shoot the puck a lot. So we're gonna need to uh, make some saves in a back-to-back -back situation. Hopefully we can find a way to get it done because we would like to win our second game of the year. And that's a great start with the net drive and the tip off of the glove and in for a one nothing lead. Good save on the pass out. Maybe stayed down a little bit too long, but I was able to get my chest up where he was trying to elevate that puck to. So make that save, not bad. Oh, he just couldn't get the handle on that one. That would have been really nice to maybe get quick breakaway goal here, make it two to nothing in this first period. Sneaky little uh, screenplay there, trying to give my defenseman a little bit of space. Didn't help him out enough though. Uh, either way, we're gonna make a nice save here on another pass out, squeeze that one under my arm. Oh my goodness. And then I have no idea where this puck goes. Squeaks down backhand right to a guy on his forehand. He's just a little below the goal line and is, oh, he wraps it off of the post and I have no idea where it is. Thank goodness for Will clearing that one out. But uh, that was a scary situation that could have tied this game very quickly here in the first period. Mm, yeah, I gotta stop that one. That's not great. Coming across, it's a good little drag and shoot. You can see I end up going down and in and then extending out, taking too much time. From there, I've gotta be a little bit better making that save, extending directly to that puck. So, tie game on a goal that I'm not super happy with here in the first period. We're being outshot, but I feel like I've gotta make that save. On the plus side, we came back and scored right away to get back up by one. So we're doing the right things. We're creating some offense. I just can't give up any softies here from here on out, I don't think. That would be that would be the big focus. Great stick on this. Also, an explosive pushover gave me a chance to make that save. Uh, maybe down a little bit too much in my RVH there. Got away with it. This one, trying to get it up and away. It's a bouncing puck, so it was hard for him to handle, which is good. I probably would have made a save if it had gotten on net. But Eddie, my defenseman, able to swing around, get a stick on it instead, prevents that, and uh, we keep it two to one. Just a piece of that one through the traffic. Man, this is the second straight game now where I'm gonna face 20 shots in the first period um, on the same day. This time though, we're up two to one, which is great. That puts us in a good position, up two to one uh, through the first period. Let's see if we can continue to build on this. Maybe go ahead, get a bit of a lead here, stretch it out and make them have to come from behind. That would be huge. Or, on the other hand, we could give up a shorthanded goal. 
three on one, this one comes so soft off the top of my blocker and then you can see vines wide open on the back door, able to pick that one up, fire it over my outstretched pad. Hard to do anything about that one. I would like to, in retrospect, maybe shift my body into it, get it in the shoulder area to corral it, but is what it is. We've got another lead with a goal shortly after that on a crazy deflection through the five hole. So we are answering their goal every time they come back to us, which is good. It would just be nice to pull away, I think, and not have to worry about them being right there. Nope, that doesn't happen very often to me. Puck hits the shaft of the stick and right out of my hand it goes. I will say in this situation, I would rather play without a stick. Um, I know that a lot of a lot of defensemen end up giving sticks to their goalie. I would rather my defenseman have the stick. I've got pads that seal the ice. I can play with my blocker hand not holding a stick. That's going to be easier for me than it is for my defenseman to clear it without one. So that's my advice personally. But if you are someone who feels they need a stick, and your defensemen are okay with sacrificing that, then that's fine. Good stop here on the one-timer. Coming over just a little bit deep, he shoots it back against the grain, but beating that on my feet and pushing down into it, Makes a big difference. It makes that save a little bit easier. Oh my goodness. So close. Hits the post. And so I understand why Jay tried to get that puck on net so quick. Some people will wonder, you know, why he didn't take a step. He felt pressure. Dave is a heck of a goaltender when it comes to lateral explosion. So between those two things, you're trying to get that puck on net quick. What do you go home and watch game? Oh, so you go home and watch gameplay? Yeah. See, Seamus, I put this stuff up on the internet. <laughs> he was an uh, old college teammate of mine asking what was going on with the cameras, having a good time, making a little fun of me. Um, just, you know, I love the cameras. I know that I've talked about it on here before, but I enjoy doing this stuff. It's a lot of fun, and watching the tape over is really fun, too. Unless they do that. That's less fun. Um, let's go to the fun part where I make a good save. Coming over and bouncing out, I'm lucky that he isn't able to corral this right away and shoot it. I'm chasing the play a little bit from there, but I'm able to come back and make a really nice blocker save. Here, when this puck gets passed out, don't adjust to his stick. I go more vertical than horizontal, adjusting to his body instead of his stick. He's a right-handed shot. He's gonna have that whole far side and he beats me shoulder area so it looks like a really really good goal and it is but it's also on me being in poor position on the pass out so that's one of those things where a head check there would have done me better and i had not done one because i had been trailing the play a little bit previously see how it all adds up scrambly at the end there of the second period but we're gonna get out of it up not up but tied three to three being outshot 38 to 23 so I have faced almost 100 shots already here in these two games actually 100 shots exactly right now um, so I've been busy here on this Sunday afternoon and doing a pretty good job of making the saves that I need to and some of the ones that I shouldn't um, just got to keep making those saves, play it one save at a time here as we try and get a lead and hold on to a lead here in the third period of this game against the Outlaws. Wow, that's a huge stop. This play kind of comes out of nowhere out of the corner. And the one-timer, and I'm all over it. What a save.
best thing about that play is you could see the couple of head checks I took to see what was going on in front. Knew that Siak was coming down the wall. He's a right-handed shot. He's a shooter um, coming down the middle of the ice. So when that puck hits him, I am over. I am explosive. I am making that save. And we're in a position now where that save is huge when we're in a tie game. So hopefully we can use that, get a little bit of a momentum boost. Let's see if we can't get one down at the other end and get our, what, fourth lead of the game? <laughs> Good stop here too on the pass out. This one, using that post, I slip a little bit with my left foot, but my right edge is engaged, which is important in that RVH, so I'm still able to push out to make that save a little bit, put my body in a good spot. That's why it's important to have both pieces of your body engaged in an RVH. It gives you the uh, leverage to move in a situation where you normally couldn't, and that's massive. Oh. Come on, after all of that, just pulls a bouncing puck out of three people's skates, gets it right to his forehand and goes low glove. That's where I don't love the fingers up position that I end up in sometimes. He goes right under my hand as I'm rotating it to make that save. Uh, so ends up in the net and now we're down four to three, down a goal for the first time in this game. Let's see if we can find a way to tie it and then hopefully uh, get back into the lead before the end of this one. Oh, come on. This one hurts because this one he comes out and just like through sticks, through bodies, chopping a puck. It's bouncing right onto a guy's tape on the back door where he tucks it into the empty net. Uh, not much I'm really gonna do about that one. I kind of reached for the puck when it came out, but at the end of the day, I'm probably not making that save anyways because it's such a wide open back door tap in. On the plus side, we got it back. <laughs> Great net drive there. Tuck it around the goal goalie at the other end. We're down five to four. We've got time, a little over a minute left. Let's see if we can get it with the empty net. Ugh. It hit him. It hit him. It almost bounced down, but it did not. Come on, this cannot be a goal. Of course it is. Of course that one hits the empty net right off of the face off in there and gives them the two goal lead again. And that pretty much seals it. Gonna make two more saves here at the end though. The wraparound is really nice. Tall guy extending, reaching out off of my pad, backhand swatted back on net, and then a really nice cover, to be honest with you, but that is a tough L. To be honest with you, I'm happy with how I played. I made 49 saves. Did a really good job there, above expected in save percentage, saved a couple of goals statistically, but we lost six to four. I know how that goes on the second of a back-to-back. -back, I was maybe a little tired, I maybe made a couple of mental mistakes, but at the end of the day, I don't know that I'm that upset with the way that I played, because a couple of those bounces, there was nothing I could do, right? The problem is the ones that I did feel like I had a chance on, I didn't get, so. Six to four loss. We're gonna have to bounce back in the next one on Sundays, but there's tons of content coming, tons of chances to do that. So if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. Coming fast and furious to the channel. I can't wait to keep bringing it to you. I'll see you all next time.